Hello class, you are welcome back. I still remember myself, Osaya Yagachi. Before we continue with the example I told you earlier, I want us to explain or differentiate two things. Numerical expression and algebraic expression. Numerical expression, there is no variable in it. But algebraic expressions can be variables throughout or mixture of variables and constants. But numerical expression is just constants. Let's say in numerical expression what you will have or what you will be seeing in numerical expression is something like 2 plus 3, 8 plus 1. Numerals. They are just numerals. But in algebraic expression, you will be seeing something like 2x plus 2y or 2x plus 9. I'll take for another example something like x plus 1. All these things are, all these things here, are algebraic expressions. They are algebraic expressions because there are inclusion of, or because variables are included in it. In any statement here or expression, you can actually see a variable or two variables. So once something like that is there, it's not an issue for you. So we go to a simplification of um, algebra, like I told you earlier. So if we take an example, if we take an example like um, 7k plus 2x plus 2x plus 3k minus 9. This is an expression. But for us to simplify it, what we need to do is to collect like terms. Like terms are the ones that have the same variables. What's actually a term? A term is a number or a product of number and a variable. A number or a product of number and a variable. That is term. 2x is a term, 7k is a term, 9 is a term, and the 3k in this expression also is a term. So, if we are to solve this now, you are asked to simplify it. The first thing you will do is to collect like terms. Which one and which one is having the same variable or is not having variable at all? So you go from here, 7k plus 2x plus 3k minus 9. Then you collect like terms, you have 7k, which other number here has k also? That's 3, say plus 3. Remember if it's plus in front, you write plus. If it's minus, you write minus. So you have 3k plus 2x. We are not adding anything to 2x because there is no other number given that you will add or subtract from it. Minus 9. Minus 9. So you collect like terms now. 7k plus 3k will give us um, 
will give us 10, 10K, you bring down your 2X plus 2X because you don't need to add anything to it or remove anything from it. Minus 9. You also bring down your 9 because there is no constant you can add to it or subtract from it. So for the main time, this is your answer. We have simplified four given terms to three. We have simplified four given terms. In this place now, we were given it as four terms. We have simplified four given terms to three. So you can even see more of them that you can simplify to one when one term is given in, uh, um, as an expression or you have subtracted others or added others remove themselves or eliminated themselves as zero so at that point we only have one term so for this one now we have three terms as our answer it's not bad from four to three we have reduced it so maybe when we solve another more example then it will be easy for us to understand okay let me give us an example of the one we will solve and get one term something like if you are given if you are given something like 2k plus 5k plus k plus 2k if you are asked to simplify this the first thing you will do like we have been doing write your solution and add all of them to God be the glory, there is no subtraction. You are not subtracting anything. So you so add 2k minus 5k will give us 7k. Now 7k plus 1k will give us 8k. And 8k plus 2k will give us 10. So you have at this now. 10k so it's not a difficult thing that, uh, to do this is one of the simplest topics in mathematics so you try some examples I'll give you something now to try while we wait for the next video so try something like assuming you are doing please let me write it here. Assuming you are giving 2x, number 1, 2x plus 3x plus x plus 7x. Please don't mind my writing. Then number 2, let me give you a different one. Assuming you are giving 2x plus 2y plus 5y plus x for you to simplify for you to simplify is just the same process of addition the same process of addition so please solve this while you wait for the next video thank you